Hi Value Investors, thank you for joining me. My name is Michael from Deep Value Returns on Seeking Alpha. Today I want to talk about Smart Trade and what's interesting about Smart Trade. So we're going to talk about its growth rate, we're going to talk about how it compares with its bigger peer Asana and then we're going to talk about its valuation. So the stock is priced at 13 times next year's sales and what that actually means in practice. So here's the thing. Um, Smartsheet is kind of like an agenda online that allows management to track who's responsible for what. So it's like a, a workflow management tool, okay? So you can do some kind of project management, task tracking, and just really have an overview of who's doing what, when. As you know, there's the backdrop of all digital transformation and the work from anywhere environment. So Asana is, is a company, a software that does, um, pardon me, uh, Smartsheet, because it's similar to Asana. Uh, Smartsheet is, is a company that allows you to do all this. So it allows you to really break down the IT silos and be able to have just an overview of tracking the, the workflow throughout the company. So the company put out quite strong results. So Q2 2022, which I just reported, was up 44% year over year. Yet the stock sold off approximately 14% after the next day. Why did the stock sell off? On the surface, everyone has latched on to the fact that billings came in weak and investors were like, okay, done with this stock. Here's the facts, right? So they put out that the buildings were up, uh, let me just see this through. So the buildings were up this quarter 47% year over year, okay? And for the next quarter, it's kind of expected to be around 34%. So that's quite a dramatic deceleration. But if you look further back, in the end of Q4, management has said, okay, for fiscal 22, which is this year that they're doing now, buildings are gonna be up 30%. Then, at the end of Q1, they said actually buildings are going to be coming in closer to 34%. So there's a 400 basis point acceleration. Now that they're halfway through the year, they've once again raised that billings guidance by another 400% uh, basis point. Sorry, for, by another 400 basis points. So they're pointing towards 38% for the year for buildings to grow. So they're you know they are raising the guidance as the year progresses yet investors wanted really nothing to do with the stock and you can see that in the in year to day the performance of the stock is just up two percent compared to a sign that is up more than 200 percent so with that in mind you know investors are just saying okay like they don't want to touch uh, smart sheet at any price point one thing that i, I was kind of considering this investment, so I looked a bit further, and management doesn't really have any skin in the game here. This for me is kind of like, you know, it's not a deal breaker, but I do want to see that, you know, if I'm aligning myself with management, that they are motivated and incentivized to drive the share price higher. And in this case, it's, you know, management, the, the two founders are just directors in the company and they're pretty much out of the company. And I'm like, yeah, okay, that's really not gonna cut it for me. Um, another thing that I wanted to point out is that, you know, the, t the number of customers coming in and adopting Smartsheet is growing. I'm not sure if you can see in the graph there. So the numbers for um, the customer spending more than 5K per year is up 34% year over year. So the customers are adopting um, Smartsheet at a rapid rate. That being said, compare this with Asana. So Asana is the bigger peer, sorry, Asana is a smaller peer, but the customers ad adopting uh, Asana, uh, spending more than 5K is up 61%, so 61 versus 34. So there's a much higher adoption rate. Asana for now still has less custom, fewer customers than, um, than Smartsheet, but I suspect that over the next two quarters or perhaps even the, over the next quarter, Asana is going to overtake the number of customers using its platform. So it was a smaller company, but it's just growing so much faster and customers just love the product that it's just going to overtake um, Smartsheet. So that's the thing, right? So looking out to next year, Smartsheet is priced approximately 13 times forward sales, okay? Asana, on the other hand, is priced at 36 times. So it's nearly triple the valuation. But in tech, often, you know, it's worthwhile paying up for the market leader because that company just has so much more runway ahead. So you're paying a higher multiple right now, uh, not necessarily saying that one is better than the other in terms of, uh, in terms of uh, buying into the stock. I'm just saying that sometimes in tech, it's worthwhile paying up a larger multiple for the market leader because you know that that company can just 
keep on going at a really rapid rate. On the other hand, I should counter that and say, look, um, Smartsheet has a very high gross margin. So yeah, compared to other SaaS businesses, um, Smartsheet has more than um, 82, so it has 82% gross margin profile. So there's a potential for this business to be a high margin business. So it's it's a very much of a kind of a, a nuanced interpretation that's required here. But if you want to find out what type of stocks I'm investing in right now, check out my marketplace. It's called Deep Value Returns. You're welcome to do a totally free trial to see if it suits you. Cancel anytime before 14 days and you're not going to get charged anything at all. And I'm not going to be uh, taking over what you do as, as, as an investor. I'm just a place that's going to provide you with some actionable investment ideas where someone is willing to do the due diligence on the back end. And you can see the reviews that I've got from a marketplace. The, and you can read all those reviews. They're all five stars. 